Earl O'Malley, and I'm going to talk to you today about my 2,800 horsepower Jeep Grand Cherokee. you guys today about my 2008 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. Uh, the SRT stands for Super Race Car Truck. Most people don't know that, but uh, I also took off all the badges because I'm uh, trying to keep it like a sleeper look. Um, I actually, with the uh, suspension, I gave it a two inch lift. All right, first off, we'll start with this cast iron Black Widow webbing and fused bull bar. What I use this for is to make trails when I go off-roading. Like this trail I'm on right now, made this all myself. Only one that gets back here is me because I got a Jeep and I could do it because I got 4x4 off-road tires. There's yeah. nothing I hate more than Ford Raptors. All they do is break down on my trails. You know what I want to do to them when I see them? That's what I want to do to every single Ford Raptor out there. Fuck Ford Raptors. Ugh. Fuck, fuck Ford Raptors. Raptors, they suck dicks. They think they're so cool. They fucking break Herb down up. on my fucking trails. Break down on my trail. Don't fucking do that, Ford Raptor. You fucking ass bitch. The back. Uh, over here, it's 4x4. Four four because I actually engine swapped this with a Hellcat engine. So it has four Hellcat engines for the four tires, so one Hellcat engine per tire. That's uh, 707 each tire, so that makes it roughly 28, 28 horsepower, plus the 15 horsepower for the sticker, so this thing's a beast. Uh, we'll take it over to this side. Uh, as you can see, I never washed this thing in my entire life then since I had it. It's uh. I'm going to talk to you guys next about my custom antenna. I used to have a really long one, but I had to cut that down because it was causing too much drag and downforce on the, the passenger side of my vehicle. I was racing all the Raptors, the forward Raptors. Every time I kept on turning to the right, and I was, so I had to cut that down, you know, get this. It's made out of uh, compressed steel, so, uh, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, I like it. I have no problems with it so far, but uh, let's move. All right, guys. Next, we're going to go to the fuel, the thing that makes this Jeep breathe. Right here is the gas cap. You probably couldn't see it because I had it match the color of the paint, so you guys couldn't see it, but it's actually right here. Uh, what I put in here used to be uh, premium uh, 93 ethanol, but I actually uh, switched it out. I put a poly blend of uh, E85 ethanol mixed with genuine Budweiser, not Bud Light. If you put Bud Light in here, it'll totally ruin the engine. That's where we're going next, so I'll meet you at the engine. Oh, damn. God damn it. Oh, shit. Now it's time to talk about my favorite part. The engine. Let's get into this. Back here is a turbo, but oh, can't look back there. It's actually illegal, so I can't let you guys see it, but just trust me, it is there. Uh, I also have the supercharged right here. Big, nice uh, 3.7 liter supercharger. Uh, this right here is the antifreeze, but I took it out and filled it with a Jägermeister and the button for the windshield spray. I actually rerouted all the hoses to a hose inside where I can just drink right out of it. This used to be the uh, air filter, but uh, as you can see, genuine OEM Mopar air intake. Here we got some leather belts, way better than rubber, last five times as long. Here right here is the supercharger I was talking about. Right here is the battery for all my uh, accessories that I have. This is just all the, I have to have two double fuse boxes because all the accessories I have on my Jeep and uh, here's the brake fluid 
keep it completely empty because I don't need brakes when you have a race car like this. Uh, let me show you my dipstick. One of the first modifications I did to this was put a short throw dipstick in, but when I engine swapped this, I had to put in the long throw dipstick because I had to reach all the way down to the deep oil pan. And it's okay because it's the same weight as a short throw dipstick because this long throw dipstick is actually made out of carbon fiber. So we're good there. Um, also I did was uh, change the oil from 5W30 to pure Jack Daniels. So right here we have a genuine OEM Mopar sway bar made from cast iron for weight reduction. That's uh, so I can make the tight turns when I'm uh, off-roading or when I'm trying to beat all the Honda Civics and Mustangs and the Ford Raptors. I have here is a, do my gauges first. This right here, speedometer. Says it only goes up to 140, but actually it goes around twice. So I can go 280 miles per hour. That's only dash. I've, I've hit 300 on the track before. Uh, this is the RPM gauge. The, uh, Recommended red line is around six or seven thousand rpms. I always slam it at eight thousand rpms to get better uh, traction that way uh, Right here. I keep my nice handy dandy switchblade in case those Honda guys say they could beat me I just cut their throats out and make sure they stop talking all that shit So I do have a uh, fully equipped Police radio and PA system it's for when I want the Honda guys to get out of the fast lane and keep driving in the left lane and they get out of my way. I just, they usually move or I just do a little, they move too. This also is good for hollering out all the biddies. So I can uh, holler at all my fat chicks like, hey girl, you want to go to Wendy's? Gets them every time. All right, guys, once again, I'm Earl O'Malley. And uh, thanks for checking out my uh, 2008 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. Big gold, big gold, daddy's in the big gold. Got so much bounce, the kick drum, give me that kick up. You don't want it with me, suck up, just look up. Be a clown in this motherfucker like bird shit. Randy Spicky Tom sits up on the curb, bitch. Drunk as a picture on Sunday. My maniac, slow American squad, mount up around your Hyundai. Chevy.